How do they keep the windows clean? Uh, they wash them. Like while you're dining, they wash the windows. Good morning. Okay, my bed is made. Bathroom is cleaned. Flip flops are out. I've got the coffee making right here. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. Not a bad spot. And we have a trail that goes down right there. in the life of van life. Today I was doing some little tweaks and repairs so I installed that hook right there and this bungee to hold that stuff in because when I was flying around corners it was falling out so I did that. The curtain is out because I have it on the front dash here and I've cut it because I'm going to trim it and just kind of reconfigure how it hangs in there. So that's what's going on today. Fan life. I am hand sewing the curtain where I cut it. And I'm using this kind of tape to, um, to pin the fabric up. As you can see, I was marking the fabric and you know marked myself too, because that's what I do. All right, that's what I'm doing. This is what I love about Saturday nights on the road by myself. I can be in a bar like this and I just, I don't feel alone. I talk to the waitresses, I talk to the locals, or I just sit with people watch, which is my favorite pastime. Oh, thank you. Date night, Saturday night, Newport. Oh, yeah. That's both. Okay, we need a tree. How oh, good is this prime rib? Oh my goodness. Okay. Some OG. Mm -hmm. And horseradish cream. Mmm. Mm. so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is really good. Baked potato, mm -hmm. prime rib, and horse butter cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good. Happy day night. Happy solo day night, everyone. 
Shameless plug, I have stickers. Good morning. Look at this sweet little find I found this morning. What is this? I found the spot to drive ninth onto the beach. She's a little heavy right now, doesn't have the right tires. So, um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna try that this morning. But let's go down for a morning walk. It is 6.05 in the morning on the Oregon coast. It is mid-September. when you show off to the pretty girls you get your vehicle stuck Ugh. well hello we're interrupting this film in progress to bring to you another cool product that was sent to me i.e. safey i think that's how they say it sent me this fabulous little compact solar charging bank so i want to go over it with you guys and just show you how cool and compact this is box you get a carabiner with a little compass on it which i love that there is a micro usb out charge and this is also what you use to charge it from like your house or in my case batteries that i have on board there is a user's manual where for fun i'm going to read a few facts that are interesting that are in here and then there's also this micro solar panel charging unit. So it opens up like this, like this. Isn't that fabulous? There are two USB micro charging ports in here. And that little one is also a charging port, but that's the in charge to charge it. On the back of it, is this uh, light on the back of it is this light this is the switch to turn the unit on to start charging all the products but it's also the switch if you hold it the light comes on so that's kind of handy too a little flashlight let's shut that off and then this same switch is for activating the solar charger so if i turn that on it lights up the dash and the dash lets us know how much of a charge it is. So it looks like they're, it, well, it's actually, I think it's charging from my through night flashlight, which I'm lighting up the tiny element with, but I will need to plug it in and charge it up before we go over all the things that it charges. Here are all the specs of the battery. And if you would like to know more, you can just pause this video and look at that so you can see what this can power. So there are just a few logistics in the user's manual, which I have right here, which I thought that I would go over with you in case you didn't know. So one of the important things is that don't put the solar bank in a damp place or water it. Um, don't leave it in, don't leave it under extremely strong sunlight or put it in a flammable place. So I think they mean things like if you live in the desert southwest or somewhere that's hot as balls in the world, don't leave it on the dash of your car because it's not good for it, even though it is a solar panel. It's a tiny one. It's a little itty bitty one. Then it says, oh, okay, it's strictly forbidden to beat, impact, disassemble, or attempt to repair this product yourself. So don't try that. Another thing it says, don't put any foreign body into the USB input and output holes. You know, what's an in hole is an in hole. What's an out hole is an out hole. You can figure that out. Well, I am so thrilled to have the IE Safey solar charger on board with me. This will make it very easy for me when I go to parks or friends places or even 
restaurants because I can use this little tiny solar charge bank to charge my phones, to charge my Chromebook. I don't know if it'll charge my big laptop because that thing is an energy pig. Thank you, IE Safi, and links are in the descriptions below. The last thing I'd like to mention about this IE Safi battery is that they are one of the sponsors for the North America's largest Honda Element Meetup. It happens in Tacoma, Washington. It'll be in June of 2023. Check out the Element Driven website. I will leave a link in the description below if you'd like to go. But they are going to be one of the sponsors for this meetup up for the silent auction. So one lucky person is going to get to bid on this compact solar unit. So thank you, IE Safi. As always, everyone, so much love from the tiny element. Oh, hey, little guy. Smile for the camera. Ooh, tell everyone, I've got wooden stickers. It's a little bit windy. Let's see if I can catch you, okay? Can I catch you? Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Smile.